just arrived at White Waltham Airfield where I'm currently doing my MCC jock training with CRM Aviation. I'm not in the simulator today until five o'clock but I've got a reporting time of half past three my sim partner Steve. Uh, but in advance of that I'm actually going to do a check out in the Slingsby T67 and have a look at what CRM offer with their upset prevention and recovery training which at the moment isn't actually mandated but from the end of this year around December time it's actually going to be an EAS of course and a requirement to do the course before you actually go and apply for airline jobs. One big difference though is the fact that you've got a thrust on the left and a stick which you're meant to fly with with your right hand. So I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to with that. I'm sure it'll feel really alien at first. There's a few important points to note about UPRTA and that's from the 20th April 2019 Advanced Upset Prevention Recovery Training Aeroplane is going to become an EASA mandatory requirement. The ESA have mandated that anyone taking an initial multi-crew type rating will have to do this course and CRM Aviation are an ESA FCL 745A compliant company to deliver advanced upset prevention recovery training aeroplane. Should you wish to undertake UPRTA in advance of the 20th December 2019, the ESA have actually stated that anyone taking the course in advance at an approved compliant centre such as CRM Aviation, that this will remain a credit until the 20th of December 2021. Under SCL 745A, the ASA comprised the course is a minimum of five hours of theoretical knowledge instruction and then three hours of training on the aircraft. To find out more about advanced UPRTA, do contact CRM Aviation. There's a link to their website in the description. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll speak to you soon. Radio Golf Bravo Papa Alpha Yankee approaching whiskey request. We join. Hey, approach looking clear. Yeah, that's fine. Straight up behind the um, pits. Seven to the left hand and to the right hand circuit. Nine nine two hectopascals. Let's go a little bit further on. Can you see the centre line? Yep. So the right hand side of the centre line is the best. Yeah. Get a one road departure lining up zero seven left. Okay, so, line us up nice and centrally. And oh, there's good. Probably. And split's done, ready. A firm. Clear. A firm. The other one's rolling. Okay, apply full power. Okay, power is set. T and P's are in the green. And just literally hold that attitude. Gotcha. Okay, the aircraft will rotate now. Maintain full power. And we're looking to climb the attitude a little bit more. That's it. And take a right 30 degrees in a gentle turn. And we want to aim that way. Roger. Okay, got good teeth and P's. It's very weird doing it with my right hand. I'm so used to the bullhorn with the left hand. Okay, wings level now. Maintain the climb at 17. Bring your manifold here and prop back. We're going to turn right in a minute. Not quite yet. Okay, right hand turn now. And we're clear of 300 feet. Flaps coming up. Flaps up. And flaps up. And wings level now. We want to save this side of the M4, do we? Yeah, we're going to turn right in a minute go downwind, so then we'll just keep the climb going downwind. Absolutely. Okay, right turn now. Gonna aim in, see the uh, yellow cornfield. Gotcha. Brake field off there, just to the left of that slightly. And uh, a little bit more round. Okay, it's good there. And just maintain 800 feet till we're just clear of the downwind leg. Roger. It's horrible up there, it's a big... Check, check. Lumpy, uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, I just turned the squelch down slightly. Check forward now, no further climb. 
I maintain 800. Yellow one's downwind 25, the final circuit to the west. Okay. Oh, she's very nice. Very different feel to the Bulldog. Yeah. And then we're limited uh, to 2,500 feet west of here. Yeah, we can start the climb now, so put it first in the gentle climb. Are you happy with the power setting? Yeah, it's absolutely fine. Kind of head about 20 degrees to the left. I'll go for 90 knots, that'll bring us up nicely. Uh, so we're departing Waltham to the west, is route to the local uh, Hanslin area. And um, so we'll tell you guys a little bit about uh, UPRT. So UPRT is Upset Prevention Recovery Training, and it's an A on the end for aeroplane. You can have UPRT S, which is in the sim, or UPRT A, which is what we're going to do today then. Uh, upset Prevention Recovery Training is a new regulation that uh, EASA are, uh, are going to implement. The latest date from implementation is uh, December this year, so it will become mandatory that not only will you have to have completed an MCC, a multi-crew corporation course, but before commencing an initial multi-crew type rating, you'll have had to have completed UPRTA as well. And that's where uh, CRM Aviation with our Slingsby Fireflies We've been delivering this training now for the last four years. Wow. Yeah, it's good. So, I mean, uh, I've obviously done my aerobatics rating. Yeah, so I've been interested in one that I need to do the UPRT. Um, I'm hoping to get a job before December. Um, so that's why we're up today. Be, you know, you wanted to show me a little bit of a taste of what you guys do with the uh, upset recovery training. So we're just going to do some manoeuvres in the local area now and have a little chat about that. Absolutely. So our UPRTA course uh, is built up over four hours of flying. So there's approximately four hours of ground school and four hours of flying. And that's all delivered by uh, not only aerobatic rated instructors, but also current 73 and 747 rated pilots. So we understand the needs and the core competencies of the course we're delivering. And today, Ben, just going to show you a little bit of unusual attitude recovery in the basic format that we would undertake in lesson one of the UPRTA course. Awesome. Right, do you want me to show you some bits? Yep. Okay, so I have control. You have control. So what we're going to do, we're just going to look first at steep turns. So we're going to look at angles of bank of 60 degrees or greater. Yeah. And I'm going to demonstrate one to you first, and then you're going to follow me through. And the objective okay. of this is for us to feel the control force column loadings and feel through our bottoms how the wing is working, how that boundary layer is affected over the wing uh, in accordance with the angle of attack that we're operating and flying the aeroplane at. So I've just Final completed land, some clearing turns. We're going to do a turn to the left and we're going to roll on about 60 degrees of bank. Okay, am I following through lightly? I'm yeah, just going to demonstrate now and if you could just have a look out of the cockpit, feel through your bottom yep. as I roll the aeroplane on now, adding a little bit of power. 60 degree angle of bank there. Now we're going to start to pull. So you can feel the load yeah. and the stall warners coming on. Can you feel the very light vibration that you're yeah, light in your bottom? Okay, so we're going to roll out there. I'm going to do one to the right. Well, so rolling on again. 60 degree angle of bank, checking the turn and pulling the aeroplane again. Stall warners on. Very light buffet you can feel through your bottom. You feel that? Yep. Okay, rolling out. Okay, hands on the control if you follow me through. Following through. So we're going to roll to the left, checking the left, rolling 60 degrees. Now we're going to pull, we're going to increase the angle of attack. Feel the stick getting slightly light. Yeah, yeah. The buffet, the onset of buffet through your bottom. Now we're going to roll out and complete one in the opposite direction. Rolling on to the right. Waving, loading the control column. There's the stall warner. Buff it through your bottom. Stick goes light. Yeah. Now if we continue now, you'll feel buff it in the stick. There's the buff it in the stick. Can you feel the buff it, it in yeah. the stick? Light buff it in the stick. We're now going to roll out to the opposite direction. Pull the aeroplane. We're loading the aeroplane to about two and a bit G's. There's the light buffet coming uh, in there. Set. There it is there. Feel it? Got it. 
Okay, rolling out. Right. I'm going to hand you control. I'd I like control. you to do me a steep turn to the left or to the right. Your choice. Roger, we'll go to the, the left. Control. Initially, I have control. Yeah, so you can feel that light buffer come on, can't okay, you? That's good. I'll do that. Super. Have a go at one to the right. Line us up a little bit more. So let's go back to 2300 feet. Not sure. And now we'll do one to the right, please. Not sure. So speed check height. All clear. A little bit more pull. A bit more. There you go. Now we go. Okay, roll out. Okay, yes, you will. Great, I have control. You have control. So, fill through that, fill the buffet. Yep. Understand. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the game same again. I'm going to ask you to follow me through. Gotcha. But I'm going to get to the buffet and I'm just going to unload. So, I'm going to reduce the angle of attack so that we keep the boundary layer Attack. on the skin of the wing. Got it, so okay. following through. So follow me through, we'll do one to the right first. Rolling on. Pulling back. There's the buffet on the stick, feel it? Yeah. Unload, buffet on the stick. Unload, buffet on the stick. Unload, yeah. okay. Now we're gonna do one to the left. Rolling on the back, pulling hard, comes the buffet, there it is, unload, buffet, unload, okay, roll out, and I'd like you to do the same please. Roger, so, uh, there's a chin up, but that's no factor, all clear, so round to the right. So there's the buffer. Unload. Perfect. And buffer it again. Unloading that. Okay, that's lovely. Go and to the left. roll to the left, please. So let's say about 2,000. Put a little bit of speed to height there. Okay, 2-2 two, two speed check height. And we'll roll into the left. All clear. I'm loading Good. the wing. I'll we'll probably pull a little bit more, can't I? One more. There we go. I'm unloading. Perfect. Okay, roll out. Okay, I have control. You have control. So, this time what we're going to do, you notice throughout that exercise, not only we've got a visual, but we've got the audible stall warner going. Yeah, now I've taken the stall warner out of the equation. So, we don't rely on this stall warner now. We're yep. going to purely rely on the, on the stick and on our bottom. Okay, so. I'm going to level the aeroplane out, and I'm going to okay, ask yeah, you to do another one to the left. Not to the right, just to the left. So, you have control. I have control. I'm doing one to the left. And a steep turn to the left, right, unloading at the stick buffer. Good. Okay, that's great. Cool, I have control. Yeah, control. Yeah, it's, right, it's a lot more... Patter. Um, yeah. Enough patter. All yeah. right. Um, I, yeah, it's theory. really good. That's lesson one, a lot of that. And then we go on to stalling. And then we go on to uh, unusual attitudes with configurations. That's lesson one, basically. I'm just going to be um, lightly following through, if that's okay. Just don't get yeah. used to the right-hand stick. Yeah, that's fine, no problem. Uh, let's mix it up. Do you want to do a loop de loop Yeah. Let's go up a smidge. Get bored if I stay up right too long. Yeah, I've been level for long enough now, Rob. <laughs> okay, so loops. I can talk you through it or we'll just fly one. Your choice. Yeah, yeah, fly one. Fly one, okay. Oh, we go, you have to die this link to get somewhere. Easy day. There you go, loop the slings. 
Very nice. Okay. Mind your tummy. Okay. Fly loop? Yep. Okay. I'll follow through, just talk you through. So, wings level. Slight bit of patter here, but it'll help you. So, wings level. Yep. Take the aeroplane down for 130 knots. Roger. Yeah. Check it forward and sideways on the way down. Then you see 130 knots. As it passes, come level. Yep. And breathe before you do anything. Wait. And pull. pull. Feel that buffet. Head back. Check wing level. A little bit too aggressive there, but not overall horrendous. A little bit slow on the top, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Right, I have control. Yeah, control. What we do, which is a bit PPL-y, but you'll be absolutely surprised. A lot of people have difficulty with this, and that's flying the aircraft extremely slowly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly the aeroplane at about 52 knots and I'm going to make it perfectly controllable at 52 without using excessive power gotcha. or descending. Okay? And it's just feeling, feeling the nib through the stick. Still worn us out. I'm going to configure the aeroplane now. I'm going to turn back towards Reddit while we do it. Okay, so we've got full flat. Going to aim straight level towards Reading. And as you can see there, there's 52, 53 knots, something like that. PSI level. Knots there. Put that in. Take it out. The idea of this is to teach people that you can fly the aeroplane very slowly. Doing it. Yeah. The controls are nice and sloppy, we do the wiggly woo and it's all sloppy. Perfectly stable, there's 48 knots there. Not descending. So we've got a critical angle of attack on the aeroplane, but it's manageable. And to fly out of it, we add power and we just reduce the angle of attack. No height loss. 50 feet maybe, if that. Yeah. Right, just turn this way, and you're going to have a go at flying at 50 knots. Okay, hands and feet on the controls. And the feet. Hand on the throttle, whichever throttle. one you want. Yeah. And when you fly the aeroplane at 55 knots or less, maintaining straight and level flight. Roger. Very small movements with aeroplane balance. Good. Okay, I want you to change heading 90 degrees to the right. Gotcha. Below 50 knots. Out there, good. Okay, that's good. And left, 90 degree heading. Good, okay. I have control. You have control. I'll set the aeroplane up. In summary, the idea of this exercise is to become in a situation where you're configured and you, uh, you stall the aeroplane and how to recover from that configuration. So what I'll do is uh, give you a bit of patter, demonstrate it, you can have a go. Same exercise we did before, very subtle control movements. Um, if we get into the situation, it is easily recoverable. So, I'm going to reduce the power now. I'm going to take some flap. There's full flap. And the wind is coming from the east today, so we're we're on a left base at the moment, nice and slow. And 
potentially we might stall the aircraft here in our full dirty configuration. And it's how we recover from that with a minimal height loss. So, as we turn in now. We've got a buffet on the aeroplane now. Early through your bottom. Yeah, yeah. Way to recover. Unload the wing. Roll to the nearest horizon. Gain airspeed. It's subtle, but it's recovering before yeah. the problem becomes exacerbated. And that's the biggest thing with the prevention training, isn't it? It's, it's not, you've taken an aircraft in now, what do you do exactly. next? Exactly. It's to stop you getting into that situation. So we're going to roll to the right, do the same again now. Awesome, we fill the buffet through the stick. Charlie's point C area for rejoin. There's the buffet. Unload the wing. Recover to the nearest horizon. Apply power. Maintain attitude. Okay, so it's going to turn us away here. And I'd like you to put your hands and feet on the controls. Hands and feet. And I'd like you to demonstrate recovery at the buffet, like I've done with the stall water off. Roger. So it will look like we're turning to the left base turn. Good afternoon, you're five, it's Romeo 07. So load the aeroplane. Loading, loading. Oh, sorry. A bit left power. Zero seven there it comes there. Subtly unload the wing. Add power. Roll to the nearest horizon. Roger. Zero seven left power. 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 Zero seven left There it is there. There it is. Fire in the nose. Roll to the nearest horizon. And power. Perfect. Good stuff. Okay, I have control. You have control. There you go, Ben. I'm going to give you the aeroplane now. I have control. We're going to direct you back to White Wolf and listen to what's going on. That was lovely. Thanks very much for that, Rob. Right. So, follow the motorway down there. These are very good platforms for the UPRTA syllabus. Uh, they're also really good for formation training. Yeah. Using their superb form training. Right, see that patch of motorway, the spaghetti junction in on the nose, half 12, kind of eight north of that, pretty much where we're going. Okay. And then we'll go over to Waltham, which is over there. Waltham Radio, Yellow 1, Sierra 1500 feet for rejoin. Yellow 1, Walton Radio, welcome back. Runway 07 left for the right hand circuit. QFE 9901, Hexapascal. 9901, 07 left for the right hand. Yellow 1. Okay, so we're going for 1200 for 800 and we're joining yeah, our hands. Yeah, just maintain height. So you want to cut that direction yeah. over the uh, west of the airfield. Yeah. Doesn't need much trimming, does it? No, it's pretty good. I'm just looking around. I just <laughs> got visual with that. Then I'm like, Martin. <laughs> I hope it's not. It's been meant to be teaching me in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> be a bunch of tired people. Did you cut it quite tight over the uh, tally traffic? Eleven o'clock. Uh, tally. Um, yeah, so they're on circuit, so let's maintain the 1200 feet, they're quite high. I'm not sure what that is actually. No, uh, it's, it's going away. Thought he was going back in a minute ago. Yeah, just maintain this heading, just come left very slightly. So it's runway 07 left because we've got two parallels. Uh, 07 left is a right hand circuit, so. At uh, this heading here, we're fine. They take 1,200 feet, and I'll tell you when to... Yeah, we'll go down to 800 feet, and then we've got the jink. degrees. And then we'll join down. I just come right about 30, so we get into the overhead. That's a perfect there. Golf Bravo November Echo Echo Radio check and airfield information please. So we're just going to maintain 
this now. And you set now to 800 feet. And we'll just do a gentle right shortly. Thanks for that, Roger. It's uh, zero 07 with a right-hand circuit. That's 996 Hesk Pascals. Uh, just keep that descent going down. Yellow one, dead side, two five. Okay, all the way around. For a downwind, or we just doing something. Yeah, angle. just another right 20 degrees to go. We level off. That's about right there. Perfect. Okay, wings level. Fly out for about another three or four seconds, and we'll turn downwind. Gonna change tanks for you. And then, and you can change, turn downwind now. The speed back to 85 knots. Uh, touching going on, we suck. Hello, one downwind, zero seven to roll. Over we go, to okay, 85. Yeah, 85 is good, and then we're going to slow off. There's a church down there at one becoming two o'clock. We're going to go past that okay. and turn onto base. You want red blues? Uh, leave, leave them where they are. I, I teach them final. That's good, nice and stable. If you want to take first stage of that now, you can. And once you establish the stage of flat, turn right, slow off to 75 knots. And we'll turn on to base. And this will be a touch and go. Gotcha. Okay, so, slowing off 75. And now we need to start reducing the power a little bit more. A little bit high. You might want to take full flap now. Roger. And then we're looking between 65 and 70 knots on approach. And when you're on finals, you can go to red and blues. Roger. Now we've got a slight move to right. Get on final to uh, zero 07, roll. Okay, we've got flaps, reds, blues. If you can land slightly to the right of the centre line, that would be a better bet. And what's my threshold speed? 55? 65. And they're just holding the attitude. Reducing the power and holding the attitude. Go on, that's right there. Awesome. Good afternoon. You're five. It's on zero seven left for the right-hand circuit. The Q&H is 996. Let's go. Q&H is 996. Ready for... Okay, idle. Seven, uh, Hold the right attitude right. there, okay. that's fine. Thank you. And full power. Drag flap away. Okay, damp, isn't it? And rotate. Okay, just maintain the heading and the climb for a minute. And okay, we're going to be turning right shortly. Just going to bring your power back now for you while we climb. Watch out. And 30 degree heading change to the right. That's uh, great. That was right, yes. Okay, nice and smooth, stable, uh, at platform really, not too much. Uh, uh, it's fine. Okay, flaps travelling. Flaps. Got good T's and P's. And round to the crosswind. Shortly be turning downwind. Now! I can see why you enjoy flying from here. It's a fabulous airfield, isn't it? What a great place. Oh, uh, it's fab. Okay, 100 feet to go. Slight wind from the lights. Uh, it's less, we've got the nose left slightly. Uh, it's 800 feet. Good. Then if you work on 80 knots on the downwind, you're going to be nicely configured. Roger.
Hello, so once you've selected flap on the base leg, just start slowly reducing. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted me to send or not. So yeah, I'm just slightly like reducing your height. Okay, on um, to base leg. Take the flat when you're happy, get it back to 75 and then a gentle descent. Right with that? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, come out of the power a bit. And we'll be landing off for this one. Gotcha. Yeah, I've got used to the right stick now, but it was very, very strange at first. <laughs> okay. We do flat view. Uh, now it's going to get it on the part on the uh, on You're final. Right sorry. Yeah, yeah. I want final zero seven land. I got red blues flat. Oh seventy for sixty five. Okay, hold the attitude. Nice. Brilliant. Well done. Keep that weight off the nose a little bit too much. Thank you very much, Robert. You're welcome.